What can you inject in your knee to make it feel better if you've got arthritis? I don't mean inject yourself. I mean have a doctor or a healthcare professional inject in your knee. We have Dr. Tim Deacon here who has been a surgeon dealing with knees for 35 years. Right. So I've spent my career uh, trying to help people with sore knees. Okay. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. Dr. Brad Lina. As always, thank you for joining us. Thank you for not watching a cat cuddle another cat or a dog and a cat cuddling. You're watching a video about your health, about your knees. What can we inject in our knees to make them feel better if we have arthritis? All right, so the number one injection that your doctor is going to recommend for an arthritic knee is probably cortisone. Uh, cortisone's been around for 50 years. Uh, it's a strong anti-inflammatory. It's put directly into your knee, usually with a little bit of freezing. Uh, and it usually leads to improvement in your pain for about two to three months. Um, there's a lot of contradictory studies out there about whether it's actually harmful to your knee in the long run, but actually the majority of the studies show that it probably doesn't harm the cartilage. And if you've got a knee that's already arthritic, well, if it improves your pain and your function, then it's a good choice. I'd agree. Uh, what, what I tell my patients too is that a lot of people think, are you injecting it into the cartilage? No, you're injecting into a space actually between the bones that's surrounded by that synovial sac, like injecting into a balloon so it bathes the ends of your bones and your joint in the fluid. Right. So uh, the second one, and that's a, it's a good point that you just brought up, the second one is actually hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid is the molecule that gives joint fluid its thickness, so its um, lubricity and its viscosity. Um, and we think that helps sort of like putting some lubricant into the machine. So like oil into the machine, this is like oil for your joint. Um, it's been around for again about 50 years and it has been shown to be helpful in decreasing pain and increasing function for osteoarthritis. The studies now are pretty solid. The results are pretty good for high molecular weight, cross-linked hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid, it's a molecule that already exists in your synovial fluid or the fluid in your knee. Uh, however, when you have arthritis, it's diminished a little bit and the type of hyaluronic acid has changed. So by injecting it in, it replaces it. It also upregulates, I think, its production a little, helps your synovial cells make a little bit more. Exactly. Yeah, because uh, a lot of people ask, well, is that going to create a space for me? And I'm like, well, actually, the stuff itself, if we labeled it, it's probably gone over a period of days or even weeks, but it, your body makes more of this stuff. But we do think that the physical properties of it do yeah. help the joint. Um, and it does have some anti-inflammatory effects. And Paul's exactly right. It might actually produce more hyaluronic acid in your knee. Now, current evidence shows that, in fact, if you combine the hyaluronic acid with a bit of corticosteroid, it may, in fact, even last longer, the effect. Normally the effect for hyaluronic acid lasts six to eight months. Put a little cortisone there and it may last up to a year. Excellent. So the third thing that we have uh, to inject into your knee to treat osteoarthritis is platelet-rich plasma. Basically what we do is we draw some blood from you and we usually spin it in the centrifuge once or twice so we can get out the layer that's the platelet layer. We wanna get rid of the red blood cells, we wanna get rid of the white blood cells. Both of those are irritating to the joint, and we want to just use the platelet layer. And in the platelet layer, there are healing factors circulating in your blood. So this is a very natural way of treating the inflammation associated with osteoarthritis. The studies are all over the place. Uh, there are studies that show very strong positive effects, and there's some studies that don't show very much effect. But generally across the board, uh, there's evidence for use of platelet-rich plasma, and it lasts up to about a year. Now, the type of platelet-rich plasma for osteoarthritis of the knee should be the one with very few white blood cells. We call that leukocyte-poor platelet-rich plasma. So it works, uh, and it's uh, something that can, in fact, be added to hyaluronic acid. So again, the, the studies are showing maybe if you add the two, they work even better. Finally is cell therapy, which is really popular today. Stem cells. Can we put stem cells into your knee to alleviate the pain of osteoarthritis? And the simple answer right now is that there's no evidence that cell therapies, stem cells, fat cells, or bone marrow aspirates help osteoarthritis of the knee. So it's important to understand that there isn't this magic cell therapy that can be injected into your knee that will relieve pain. In fact, it's gotten to the point where the FDA and Health and Welfare Canada 
have asked physicians not to propo- uh, promote stem cells or any cell therapy. I think so, it's still done a bit in, in the U.S., is that right? No, the U.S. is not Stop. allowing anything called stem cells. Uh, and we can go into it a lot deeper dive, but right now, basically, there isn't any evidence to support its use. And don't get duped into paying a lot of money yeah, uh, for cell therapy in your knee because there's no evidence to support it right now. We've talked about what works. Corticosteroid, hyaluronic acid, and platelet-rich plasma. And that's, I think, the trouble with some of the PRP studies and the stem cell studies is that the, the types of disease they have is a little bit heterogeneous, the protocols are different, so it's, it's really hard to compare apples to apples when a patient is sitting in front of you and says, is this going to work for you? It's hard to know the answer, but right. it is on the table as an option. One of the keys is that most of the studies that, that talk about cell therapies also include some PRP in the injection. Yeah. Yeah. And so it muddies the waters, right, yeah. about what actually is working. On stem cells, there is a lot of research going on. So it's not to say Correct. down the road there may not be a good therapy for it or you may take part in some kind of study. But as of right now, the evidence does not support its use for as a standard of practice. However, maybe 10, 15, or 20 years from now, I think we will be using stem cells more in medicine to try and alleviate some of the progression of disease. But right now, taking some stem cells, having them inject in your knee, does not appear to work. In 15 years, maybe none of us will be doing this. Oh, no, we'll be getting it. Well, we're but, yeah, optimistic. Right. We yeah. hope that there's going to be yes. some further developments in, in cell therapies that will help our knees and maybe slow down uh, or stop the progression of osteoarthritis. Right now, there's only a couple of things that have been shown to actually stop the progression of osteoarthritis, and that's loss of weight if you're overweight. Um, the other thing that you can do to try and uh, decrease the pain is to do an exercise program. The one that we promote is the GLAD exercise program, which is developed in Denmark. Uh, Final thing is there's just a sort of a a very, very soft signal that may be repetitive injections of hyaluronic acid may also slow down arthritis. So that's where we're at right now. I'm happy you brought up the GLAD program. See what I did there? Yeah. Because that one is becoming quite popular and does work quite well. Yes, it's very good. And, And yeah, the take home message is that if you're living with arthritis, there are things that you can do to reduce your symptoms to improve your quality of life. This is not necessarily going to reverse it. It's not going to reverse it. Hopefully, it's going to slow it down. But the goal is to keep you in your own knees as long as we can to try to delay sometimes what seems like an inevitable knee replacement. So we're trying to avoid surgery despite being surgeons. Right. Please leave a comment. If you've had an experience with any type of injection where you have arthritis, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Or if you lost a lot of money because you tried stem cells, <laughs> let us know. Okay. Now you know. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Dr. Deacon, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.